Today we are making a note-taking system in Notion, and I know what you're thinking. You've already made a bunch of videos on this. I know, but I will keep doing Notion note-taking videos until the day I die if people keep making videos like this. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Notion note-taking system. We are going to do forward slash callout, and then here we now can take a note so I can write something like blah blah, and what we can even do is duplicate this and put it in two columns, and now we have a really good note-taking system. This is a terrible note-taking system. This does not work, so I'm going to show you how to build one that is actually good, and I'm going to build it from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is make this full screen. Now, because I want you to subscribe, I am going to go above and beyond, and we are not only going to have a note-taking system here, we are going to have our notes, we are going to have a calendar, and we are going to have our projects. So the first thing we are going to do is forward slash database, and we are going to select table view. Do not select inline database or full page, click on table view here. For this one here, all we're going to do is click on new table. We are going to click on the three dots, click on layout, and we are going to make this a calendar. Then we can click here as show calendar as month and change it to week. This is just going to be literally our calendar. Very, very simple. Here you can add any of your tasks, write reports, and now we have it in here. So the next thing we want is to have a database of all of our projects. So our calendar here is going to talk to our project and our project is going to talk to our notes. So that's how everything is connecting in here. So for this one, we are going to do forward slash database, table view, and we are going to click on new table once again. So this one here, I'm going to write projects, click on the three dots. So I will do a gallery and I'm going to change the card preview from page content to none. So now there is nothing showing up here and I'm going to change the card size from medium to small as well. So here we have all of our different projects. Now, the last thing we're going to do is have a place for all of our notes. So to do that, what I'm going to do is forward slash database, you guessed it, and we're going to click on table view once again. And then this one here, we're going to click on new table. So here, this is going to be our notes. So now we have the three databases that we're working with, the calendar, the projects, and the notes. Now we want this report to connect to this project. So I'm going to click here, and here we are going to do add property. And this property is going to be a relation property. Relation property is just a fancy way of saying, I want this database to talk to this database. So here I'm going to search for projects, which is what I named this projects database, and I can see it here. So I'll click on that. And for this, we want to have no limit, and we can click here on show on project. Click there and then click on add relation. Hi, sorry to interrupt. If you haven't seen, I have a premium template called headquarters that handles absolutely every single thing that you could want in Notion. It is my all-in-one system for your tasks, projects, life buckets, resources, time blocking, time tracking, journaling, bottleneck analysis, everything you could need. Link is in the description if you wanna check it out. I'm going to click on the relevant project, which is client proposal. And now click away. And if I click now on client proposal, here we can see the related task of write report. And what I can do here is actually right click on calendar, change it from show as property to show as page section. So now it is showing up here. So now I can see client proposal and all of the relevant tasks. Now, before I connect the notes with the projects, I am just going to make one change to this calendar where I click on these three dots, click on properties, and I'm here going to say, I want to see the related project and click that I want to see the tag for this task. So I've clicked on that. Now for this tag, we are going to do only one tag for now. It can get more complicated. You can implement a bunch of other productivity techniques, but I'm going to keep it simple for today and just do a done property. So now I can see client report, client project, done. And if I click on client proposal, I can see here write report. And the last setting we want to do is just know, is it complete or not? So we'll click on these three dots here. And here we can say this tag, I want to show that. And now I can see write report is done. So how do we have the notes show up here? So basically when I'm taking a note, I don't want my notes just to sit in the void and mean nothing. So when I do a call out like this, this doesn't actually help me. I have to then scroll through every single note that I've written here, or if I do columns like uh, like this, then again, I can take my notes like this, but it's not very helpful. It's just sitting there, and then I have to go through every single note to find the relevant note. When I take a note, I want it to appear on the relevant project. So that is the last component of this template build. So what I'm going to do here with the notes is click on the three dots here, and I'm going to change this layout to from a table to a gallery. And I'm going to change this card size from medium to small. And I'm actually going to keep the card preview as page content, because if I take a note in here, let's say blah, 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 and the title is blah, 
I can actually see that here and just have a quick preview, which is quite handy with notes. So now what we're going to do with notes is the same thing we did here with the tasks. What we want is to add a property here. And this property is going to be a relation. And we are going to select here the projects database. So I'll search for projects and I can see here the projects, click on that. But this time we will not be doing show on projects. We are going to just click on add relation and ensure that we have no limit. So click on that and now it is connected. And now what we're going to do is click on these three dots here, click on properties and here where it says projects, just click that. Now I can see if this note is related to a specific project. So let's say this blah note is related to the client proposal. And now I can see blah is relating to client proposal. So what we're going to do is click on the down arrow here for the projects database. So we are not doing it for the calendar or for the notes. We are doing it for the projects database. We will click down here and click on new template. Now we can call this new projects and we can give this an icon. Let's click here. I'll just do a circle. So now what we're going to do is click on forward slash data and click on table view. And this time we are not creating a new database. We want to see the relevant notes. So here I am going to search for notes and then click on the existing notes database that we already have. So I'll click on that and we can click on gallery if we want to see it as a gallery. Now what it's going to do is show us every single note, which we don't want. We only want to see the notes that are relevant to new project. Don't worry, when you create a new project, it will automatically change all of these settings for us. So we don't have to go in and change that every time. So we're going to click on the filter here and click on project. And here we are going to say, I only want to see notes that are relevant to new project. Click on that and it is empty right now, but that is what we want. So we click away and now we have created that template. So what I'll do is just create some extra random notes. I'll call this one example and this one Lorem Ipsum and then select the relevant project, client proposal. For example, we'll do client proposal. So now if I click on the project of client proposal, I can already see all of the relevant tasks in here. And now if I click on the new project template that we just created, you're going to see it automatically loads in all of these three notes. So now we can see the notes blah, example, and lorem ipsum. And if I untag lorem ipsum just as an example, and then click back on client proposal, you can see it is no longer in here. It is only showing us the notes that are relevant to client proposal. And that is because this is sitting in our templates here for the project. So we have created a calendar that houses all of our different tasks. And these tasks are showing up on the relevant projects. We have also created the project database and we have created the notes database and all of the relevant notes are showing up on the relevant project. If you like the way I think about Notion, you will love my headquarters template. It is my all-in-one system for your tasks, projects, buckets, resources, journaling, everything that you could need in the one dashboard. As of recording this, it has over 900 users and a five-star rating. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to click on this video to check it out.